name is Lauren Duploy and I'm an accounting professional from South Africa and very excited to be here with you today to discuss why QuickBooks Online Accountant is going to be beneficial for your practice. I just want to take a few minutes to make sure that everybody that's with me today understands the difference between QuickBooks Online, which we refer to as QBO, and QuickBooks Online Accountant, which we refer to as QBOA. They are two different systems. QuickBooks Online is what your clients or you would be using to capture your clients' books. So that's where you would write debtors, creditors, banking. It is for your customers or your clients' books. QuickBooks Online Accountant, QBOA, is a platform that we are given as accounting professionals for free by QuickBooks in order to run our practice, manage our team, manage our clients' books, and also manage books for our own company, which is what I'm going to be excited to share with you today. If you take a look at my screen, it is showing you QuickBooks Online Companies. These are companies that I'm invited to as a user, so they're not falling under my accounting platform. If I say QuickBooks Accountant Companies, these are the accountant companies, the platform that I have access to. And this would be your platform dashboard that you are going to be landing on. So the top half is going to be how you run your practice, how you manage your client files, how you manage your team, training, work, apps. Today, what I really want to be looking at is the free version of QuickBooks Online Plus subscription that we're given as accountants, and this is to run our own practices books. So if you click on your books, this is a full working uh, QBO company for you to run your practice. And one of the top features for you to be able to save time is, I'm going to just run through like three with you, definitely banking. You have to have connected your bank to your local bank if it's available. If it isn't, you can upload a CSV file. It's really quick and easy, and um, it'll bring in all your transactions for the period. If you're able to link it to a local bank, please go ahead and do that. It's going to update all your bank transactions daily uh, to make sure that everything's in the system. And then you want to be able to use things like bank rules batch processing, where you can process more than one transaction at a time and say to the system, right, all four of these transactions are for the same thing. Also, this might be the first time that you're using your bank processing, but the system learns really well that if you put this transaction to, for example, bank charges, the next month when you come in, it's going to remember that it was bank charges. So remember, this automation is all about saving time and making your processing quicker. And also because you've imported or you've connected to your bag, there's much less finger error with dates, with names, with amounts. So this is really saving you time on checking your work as well. So banking, hands down, biggest time saver when it comes to running your own books, as well as with your clients' books. So make sure that they are linking to their bank if it's available. Otherwise, just showing them how to upload a CSV. Really easy, three columns that are needed, and it's in with with under a minute, you can have um, all your transactions in. Another thing that we use in our practice that saves us a, a lot of time is with all of our bookkeeping clients, we insist that they have to be on retainers. So they sign a retainer with us, they sign a debit order with us, so we're also not chasing debtors. That's a little tidbit for you. If you're not doing that in your practice, please implement it because it's a huge time saver. But we do ongoing recurring invoices. So we have a client that signs their contract with us, another important step that I hope you are following. And I come in and I set up a recurring invoice. Now, a recurring invoice, it's already telling you here, if you look at my list of invoices, that this is recurring. But if I wanted to set up a recurring invoice, I just have to set up the invoice once and then there's an option to make recurring. These are just the steps that you would be filling in. Is it monthly, annually? If you're billing a subscription, you know, once annually, once a year, you can uh, set it up there. If it's monthly, all of our clients go onto a recurring invoice. It is sent out automatically, so I don't even have to worry about it. I know that it's set up and it's gonna run. You can set it up for a certain period, certain amount of time if you want, or you can just set it to run until that client gives you notice or they'll just be with you forever, which is obviously our objective. So this is something else we use extensively in our practice. Another feature that I really love, which is a huge time saver, is the automatic uh, invoice reminders. 
if any of you have watched webinars with me before, you know that I hate chasing people for money. It is the hardest part of my job who goes into accounting and hates finding people for money. But what QuickBooks has done is it's really taken that stress off my shoulders and it's given us the option for invoice reminders. And you would find that under your company settings and under sales. And this is another way that just automation is making our lives easier. You can set up your reminders to go you know, in advance, so three days before the invoice is due. If the invoice isn't paid, it will remind two days after. The only trick here is you have to make sure your bank is up to date so that payments are captured. But the automatic reminders work really well. And, you know, this is two sides to a coin because most of our clients are on debit order. But when we do project work, that's going to be one sort of cost. So these reminders work really well with stuff like that. It'll land up in the client's inbox and just remind them that their invoice is due in three days. So I would definitely suggest using that and we use that with all of our clients as well. The other things that we use, which I love, is our planning. So we use our cash flow planner for the year. Just a really cool tool that you can make sure that you are setting up good KPIs for your team if you're wanting to grow to be able to make good decisions. And obviously you know how fantastic the reporting is because I'm sure you're using that with your client. So for me, I just want to reiterate, QuickBooks Online, you're given a free version to run for your practice when you sign up for QBOA. Signing up for QBOA, there is no cost. This platform is given to you to run your clients, to manage your team, to get everybody trained, to run a project management uh, system as well. And just remember, we know that QuickBooks is the software that you wanna be using and that you want your clients to be using. So make sure that you are using it in your practice and you can see the same benefits that you're saying to your client. Thank you for joining me today. See you soon.